Welcome to Lake Baikal. We got here on an hour long mini bus ride from Irkutsk. It costs 150 rubles and we're going to explore. Now we've just arrived and we're at the bus station here and it's beautiful. There's a little bit of a, there's some ice, but I think for the lake to freeze, it has to reach a temperature in the water column of 40 degrees Fahrenheit and the whole water column has to reach that temperature. So further out in the middle, that water column has obviously not reached that temperature yet. And I think that is usually around like January, February. Lake Baikal is the deepest freshwater lake in the world and in about a month or so this whole lake will be frozen so you can go and ice skate on there and they also do like excursions that go all the way across to the other side. Right now there's just a surface level like that's frozen and we're just playing with stones like kids throwing it on there. But it's actually really beautiful and peaceful here. We can definitely feel the temperature difference between here and Akuts. It's slightly warmer and that sun is so nice on my face. I think I saw a doggy or two sunbathing earlier. Now because of the mountains that surround Lake Baikal, it's kind of got its own microclimate and it's a beautiful day. The lake is incredibly flat, might have something to do with the ice, but even out where it's not frozen it seems like really flat and calm. It's just a beautiful place, lovely. You can hear the ice like with the ripples like crackling. I'm not wearing my gloves How because brave. I feel free. But mainly because I can feel that sun and I need vitamin D. Yeah, definitely a holiday vibe here. We're just trying to find some lunch. A lot of seafood options because obviously there's a lot of fishing on the lake. But we'll see what we can find. Corey's on the hunt for hot chips. Come on in. False alarm, wasn't much on option there, so I'm going to go try another cafe that I saw at the beginning. Okay, there's one thing that's going on here in Lutibianca that's really disgusting, and it's a guy selling boat tickets uh, to all the boats that go cruising around the lake. It's so loud, and it's just... Well, it's, noise pollution. It's noise pollution, but it's just, it's just so loud and in your face. Anyway, that needs to stop. Listen to it. Good lord. The pleasures of being vegan in Russia. So in terms of volume, this is the largest freshwater lake in the world and it holds 20% of all of the world's fresh water. And it is very, very clear. At times you can see up to 40 meters below the surface. And if you look over here, you can just see how clear this water is. It's stone time again! So as you get dropped off into the town you're tempted just to walk up but we've come back up this way to go to a cafe and we decided to have a little adventure around here and we walked into this jetty. It was kind of a bit risky trying to go over here, but look at these views. Corey, no. That wasn't the deal. You said you'd help me. I can't do it. I'm embarrassed. I'm not doing it. If you went there, if you just slipped into there, Death by Baikal. Yay, we survived. Corey made me do another death defying act today. One of the activities that you might come across here in Lake Baikal is dog sledding, particularly in the winter time when the lake is all frozen over. Uh, there is the opportunity to um, go dog sledding. And we're not really sure if we want to do it. We're not really sure if we're going to do it. Um, but there is a place here we're going to check out. So outside of the main little tourist trap, it's so pretty down here. Uh, feels like we're in like a little, I don't know, like mountain village in Switzerland or something. Really pretty. Kind of wish we kind of stayed here. Definitely recommend if you're going to stay in Akuts for a little while, definitely spend a few days down here. 
It's definitely worth it, it's gorgeous. First thoughts, Cher? Yeah, it looks really cute, but the dogs are just like in their kennels. So, we're going to give it a miss. You know when you go to those farmyard kind of fairgrounds and they have the little horse seat and the kids go on the horse and they walk around the, the field and they come back? It's literally like that with the dogs. And I think if it was a bit more of a like, you know, unique experience where they actually book you in and you spend like maybe a day with the dogs. Right, so it's just like hop on, hop off, go around a circle with the dogs. Anyway, we're going to show you this lovely uh, picturesque location from the sky now. I think I've just added Lake Baikal to a future bucket list. I definitely want to come back here when the lake's all frozen over, and I definitely want to come back here in the summer. I think this place would just be so awesome to explore. You can do diving in the water, and when it's clear, it has visibility of 40 meters. It's ridiculous. It's like, it's like panes of glass, oh dear. It's like glass, it actually is. That's so crazy, how much it's like glass. This is definitely the most beautiful Russian landscape we've seen. We've got like mountains all around us, this beautiful frozen lake and it's like crackling away as the ice is like moving. It's so pretty. Whoa, what's it doing, Boo? What? The ice just started like moving away. It was right here <laughs> and now it's just going away. And lastly, sunset at Lake Baikal. Surely not one to be missed. Just have a look at that. Okay, I think that sunset is going in my top five best sunsets I've ever seen. That was amazing. It was so beautiful watching the sunset over a half frozen lake. I think that's the end of our day in Light by Colors, the sunset. It's been absolutely amazing. Me, personally, I really want to come back here. I want to do a summer here and all water sports and stuff and do some hiking. There's the great Baikal Trail, which uh, they're trying to complete around the lake. Um, that'd be amazing, but even coming back in winter when the thing's completely frozen, and I think it actually turns into a highway. They put road signs out on it and everything, which I think would be awesome to see. So yes, I think we will return. Okay guys, so thank you very much for watching our vlog on Lake Baikal. I hope this inspires you to take a trip here in the summer or the winter. It's an amazing place, as you can see. And I guess we will see you in the next one. So thanks for watching, guys. Bye.